Hey all, welcome back to part 5 of Minotaur Transmuter. I'm Ultraviolet4, I'll be your sensei, and this is my dojo. No, it's, it's actually left. I had a few things happen in the last one. In addition to nearly dying quite a few times, we managed to pick up Confusing Touch, which if you can use it, as in you're an unarmed combat fighter, this is such an insanely powerful level 1 spell. The amount of investment you have to put into it, and then you can confuse basically almost anything with it really if you want to. But it works for the whole game. It's so so strong, it ignores MR and so on. And I had <laughs> I had an idea at the end of the last one. And that idea was maybe it would be next level to spam blink against monsters to make space and then get additional lunges. It's like so <laughs> the whole triangle move is you do an 80% attack where you whirlwind and then that gives you a guaranteed lunge. So effectively the monster's getting two attacks against you for your two attacks because it's you get 80% damage on the whirlwind and 120 on the lunge. But if you blink after you lunge, every one of your attacks is 120% damage. So it's, it's not a triangle. It could be, I mean, it'll be kind of a random shape because it depends on where you blink. And there is, of course, a risk that with each blink, you land adjacent to the monster. So it just gives you, it gives it free attacks. But this might be next level. Let's find out. Gotta be on the lookout for death yaks who are kind of everywhere on this floor. We can fight them one at a time, kind of. But we certainly can't fight more than one. We're going to be aiming to finish Lair, and then maybe go into Orc, get enough um, money for this Book of Earth. Alright, I'm going to go Shift X, Control F to forget the floor. Uh, as scary and annoying as these Death Yaks are, they are worth quite a lot of experience. So I figure we want to be the Spider. Let's try the Lunge Strats here. So now we blink away. Oh, this is actually pretty next level. <laughs> we miscast blink. Okay. Punished. In addition, all this time that he's chasing us, he's ticking out to poison. We miscast blink again. This is the game. Okay, 17% chance to fail. I guess that makes sense. When we're in spider form, there's... um. A penalty to our spell casting. We miscast it again. Still, uh, I think I think this is pretty next level. Okay, let's not take any more attacks though. <laughs> uh, maybe we want to do some more translocations, but yeah, I I think that's that's legit. The blink lunge. Left five. Okay, we've got our elect for the eel. That's nice, I guess. Bam, lunch. He's gonna push us off, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna start heading to the other stair. Try to take him up. Okay, good. If he pushed us off, there was another stair there, then I would have whirlwinded him at this one and gone up. Guaranteed. Basilisk. Make some snakes. It's just in case we get petrified, um, the snakes will be helping out. Okay. <laughs> I really just wanted to see if I could get a lunge stab off on him. That was basically the only reason. Um, so we don't want to go in a form here. Our rope is giving us our elect. Um, whereas if we go into one of our forms, say spider form, 
we lose our rope, so we lose the Aralek. Uh, so we want to... Whoop. Go away, Hydra. We want to remain as an actual Minotaur while we fight eels or anything with Aralek. Oh, okay, I've got to remember. Okay, so we want to go here. We want to set up a lunge, okay? And so now when we use our Serpent Slash, we get the lunge, we get the bonus damage, and then he's not nearly dead, but let's go the Whirlwind anyway, because he's getting... That turn is still free, you get two instant turns, and now that he's Whirlwinded, we get a third turn where we get to lunge again. Oh, he didn't die, how did he not die? He was so nearly dead, did we just miss? We hit him but did no damage. Okay, I was confident we were going to kill him there. Um, well, we can't use wands, so I would love to just finish him off here. What if we make some snakes? Yeah, I didn't think they were going to do it. Alright, our exhaustion's gone. Let's go another Serpent Slash. Uh, we can see, because they're free, if the lunge doesn't kill him, we can decide to bail out of this. It did. Good. Okay, and we dropped to four piety. Um, still not sure yet if I want to use faith. Serpent Slash does seem pretty insane, so maybe it would be worth it. As in using faith in order to keep spamming that ability. Not sure. Because we did drop from 4 piety back to 3 just then. Okay, uh, well that, that just showed that a monster can blink while whirlwinded because the frog was whirlwinded over here after blinking away. Curious. Yeah, see there you go. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's doesn't who asked me that, so now you know. Monsters can blink while they're whirlwinded. Bam. Oh, we missed. Bam. Bam. I don't know why I'm saying bam. I should be uh, doing the karate kid. Yeah! Yeah! You're a punch with your whole body. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure whether it's better to be ice form or spider form against the blink frogs, which is why I keep changing my mind. Oh, he's too fast. See, I waited a turn, and because he's fast, he can move two tiles. Uh, the way to get around that is to do a fast action, like switching weapon. But we don't have a weapon, and we can't switch to one anyway when we're in ice form. So, yeah, harder to set up lunges on the fast monsters. Nice. The Wonder Paralysis charges stack. Very good. Let's end our transformation so we've got our Aralek. Where are you guys? Come here. There's at least one more uh, somewhere in there. Should probably be Spider. Can I wall jump in here? Pew. Okay, so I wall jump to escape there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just... I'm not thinking about this, I'm just trying to whirlwind stuff. Um, which is also getting us killed. Oh, he trampled us even though 
Um, he ended up getting well-winded. That's not fair. It's alright, we have a gap now. Maybe he's gonna tick out? No, we'll just go up, it's okay. Bam. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so... I'm not so sold on wall jump when you're... Um, can have multiple enemies hitting you. It's a lot of eels. Wonder what the collective noun is for a group of electric eels. Someone find out. Tell me. And we just picked up, right after we fought the eels, we picked up a Wonder Flame, uh, which is extremely useful against those same eels. Oh well. Oh, what was our other lair branch? Wait, we haven't seen one. Why haven't we seen one? Oh, because it's on the level where the ghost is. So we've got snake, and then almost certainly we have swamp, because of all the uh, whatever those swamp worm things are called that we saw. A shiny buckler over there. Back up to full piety. Hmm. Maybe faith is decent on this god. The reason that I ended the transformation first, before casting the next one, is just purely because there's a um, spellcasting penalty when you're in spider form. And actually, I don't want to, I don't want to fight that Hydra from full HP if I can't shoot some ones at it first. Oh, that's a demon trident. That would be very tempting. If we weren't already playing um, Minotaur. Okay. I want to know how Serpent Slash works with Wall Jump. So let's set one up here. Okay, let's go Serpent Slash. So we Wall Jump. Did that count as one or two? I can't tell, but we exploded it. That's so awesome. Um, I think that counted as two. I'm not sure. Wonder Polymorph we probably just don't need because we um, we already have Paralysis Wand which is generally better to Hex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we one shot killed it. Yeah. Oh man, this is sick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Now we're dying. Yeah. Just gonna blink away. Use our, our blink strats here. Blink lunge. Keeps going diagonal. Let me lunge you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's frog. Yeah, I'm starting starting to get a bit more of a hang of this god. I feel um, the lunge is actually really strong now that I'm actually using it more often. Also, aren't we faster than a Torpa Snail even when it's slowed? Apparently not. Uh, probably we should be... I was going to say the spider form, but 
hit the wrong macro. Get away. Yeah. Pew. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'm going to make the noise, but it seems to be doing... See, when I'm doing the noise, we're one-shot killing stuff. When I don't, it's not working. And then we're just dying, yeah. See, that's the first lesson of my karate school. Got to remember... Yeah. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Do... Wait, we need a monster. Uh, Hydra, okay. I guess that's one. I messed it up. Actually, I want to test wall jump again. Uh, never mind. We'll do the lesson in a bit. <laughs> this lesson's on hold. We're doing science now. No longer sensei, now, um, scientist. Serpent slash, let's wall jump. And then, yeah, okay, so that, the wall jump does use your two actions. That makes sense. Um, because I was thinking, if you got into the correct hallway, and you got to use Serpent Slash to jump twice instantly, and you use two, that would be pretty insane. Um, I don't know that we can fight this Hydra. I think we need to blink away. Uh, we can lunge him, maybe? No, we can't. Uh, I've cornered myself. I don't. I don't really want to wall jump and give him risk not killing the Hydra and giving him two attempts to kill us. Um, because each of these heads, all eight of them, can do up to eighteen damage, and we've only got seven AC. So if we're talking about um, basically eight times thirty-six. Well, 16 times 18. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's a lot. I'm sure it would kill us. So I'm going to try to blink out of here. That's better. Um, we'll go lunge. No. I think what would be better is to actually just wait for our exhaustion to wear off. Like that. Uh, we blink. So we can start off our chain. Like this. With a lunge. And then a whirlwind. Alright, excellent. And you get, it seems like if you kill something with Serpent Slash, you get the explosion. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Very satisfying exploding things. As I use Serpent Slash more and more, I'm becoming more and more certain that I actually do want to use Faith. Because uh, Heavenly Storm is pretty OP as well. Also, while he's slowed, we may as well be abusing Lunge as well. Yeah, okay, I've convinced myself. Let's do it. We're doing... We're doing Faith. Uh, so we can spam... We can keep spamming Serpent Slash. And hopefully, maybe spam Heavenly Storm. I've never used it. I've seen it used, so I know kind of what it does, but... Uh, it seems pretty strong, so getting more uses of that also seems pretty good. Okay, Lindworm. Does fire damage. We definitely do not want to be an ice beast. Let's be a spider. <gasps> oh, I used the wrong macro. Quick, end it, end it. <laughs> Shut it down. Let's be a spider. And let's use Confusing Touch. Uh, let's not. Uh, we don't have a choice. Okay, well, we did it. We confused him in that first go. But it seems like, yeah, with no RF, Linworms and no joke. Shiny Buckler. Cursed plus zero Buckler. Great. Um, yeah, we can be a ice base against you. This room always has a dragon in it. Um, it 
kind of depends. See, if we're if we become a more just blade hands user character, where um, we're just casting and fighting using our armor, having a dragon armor would be really good. Whereas if we're using statue form where you lose your armor, then being in a robe is probably preferable because you just want to have the best spell casting you can have. Speaking of blade hands, we probably should pick it up by now. It's three percent chance to fail, so it is safe. I'm gonna put that on A. We probably actually we have amnesia. I'm gonna forget beastly appendage. We don't really have a reason for it now. And as soon as we find boots, we won't even be able to use it anyway. Accidentally wall jumped. This you gotta be so careful. That's really the oh right. We can't use wands. And I nearly wall jumped again. See, I press V to evoke the wand. I press V. It said you can't grasp it. And then because in my head I was using the wand, I pressed diagonally down, which then tried to wall jump. So we might have accidentally wall jumped another time. Um, let's get in this little hole here so we can fight them one at a time. This is too scary, actually. Um... Can Serpent Slash to wall jump out of here and get my two free attacks off without the Tyrant Leech attacking back? Problem is, if I could, if I could have dug, I could have had a kill hole so we weren't getting slowed by the Torpor Snail. But I'd have to end transformation, then dig, and then we'd want to transform back into it again. All right, let's try this Serpent Slash wall jump. All right, we killed him. Sweet. And then I'm not really afraid now. We can fight a torpus now. Is that true? Mm, it's probably true. <laughs> can do 25 damage. Um, let's blink away. Let's not mess with this anymore. This is why blink is not reliable as an escape. Do a tyrant leech. I'm just gonna go upstairs and heal. No, nope, I'm not. Okay, I regret my decision. Go away. These guys are tyrants, man. Oh, I forgot to make the noise. Alright, let's, for this torpor snail, where there's no particular benefit from being um, in ice form. But, I don't know, I'm trying to come up with some really complicated justification just to say I want to try blade hands. <laughs> yeah, it said blade hands if you don't know. Uh, you lose your shield, you get an insane um, damage bonus from blade hands. Um, you do obscene amounts of damage with this spell. And again, you can't use wands, and again, you have a, um, a spell casting penalty. So while we're in blade hands, look at this 30% to fail blink. So I'm going to say that the blade hands blink one strategy is not a good one. Yeah, so that we do that one lunge there, we got three exclamation marks. Let's have a look. This is kind of a funny query. Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> um, 18 to 35 damage there. Cool. Uh, maybe if we could confusing touch. Oh, right, because of the penalty. Yeah, it's a 24% chance to fail, so... I would say Confusing Touch works with Blade Hands, but unless we train a lot more hexes, we're not really going to be able to do it reliably. Yeah, yeah, we just... Well, we were just killing it. Um... Alright, we've got our hands back. So let's... Oh. <laughs> it's the edge of the map. 
I wanted to dig a kill hole so we could fight the Tyrant Leech without having to worry about being slowed. Oh man. Okay, new plan. Blade hands. We're nearly dead, but we're gonna get... Wait, he went away. We're gonna try a... Um, a wall jump serpent lashed blade hands. But we can get... No, let's just not even risk it. Let's just serpent slash right now. Bam. That's pretty sick. Good ability. I like this. I'm liking Wu. It's starting slow. It's like a puzzle that's slowly coming together. <laughs> I don't like accidentally wall jumping though. That's um dangerous. Especially now that it takes two turns to wall jump off. Alright, so that's our lair done. I'm not gonna fight the dragon. Maybe one day, but we don't have any um, RF, so if it's a fire dragon, uh, we'd be in trouble. I mean, you can always shut the door. Again, dragons can't open doors. But we're not in any particular hurry to have a dragon armor anyway. Um, we wouldn't really be able to cast in it, probably. Alright, I guess we go to left. Oh, sorry, we just did Lair to Orc. Um, have we seen Orc? Yes, it's on D10. Um, I'm thinking about, there's an unseen horror that we left on D11. Still don't feel too comfortable about fighting that. Okay, so let's go to Orc. The main thing we got to worry about is being paralyzed. But we have... Bam. Oh yeah, I forgot the blink blade hand strat is not legit. Um, we have a ring of protection from magic, so that should help in that regard. Go this gold. We need to get to 845 to start training statue form. Assuming that's even a good idea to rush it. I just wanted to see the the whirlwind pin symbol there, that's all. Yeah. Oh it didn't work. So I'll teach you how to properly use blade hands. So you use it and then basically it's all in the wrist. So you go right hand, yeah. Left hand, yeah. Don't forget to breathe. Very important to breathe. In, out, right hand, left hand, don't forget to breathe, in, out. Okay, good. It's in through the nose, out through the mouth. Yeah! <laughs> okay, and so um, when you're using ice form, it's a little bit different. You want to do... So you got you got four hands that are on the floor as an ice beast and of course um, you're kind of melting as you walk around with your ice beast paws so what happens is as you're going you kind of wash the floor so you go right hand wash left hand wash wash the floor right hand left hand breathe in breathe out and so on Trying to come up with a how am I gonna do a wax on wax off joke uh, with spider form? I don't know. I guess no, that makes sense because you're a spider. You can make webs. Your your silk is kind of waxy in a way. It's kind of sticky. So we we can do this. I had I believe the whole time. So wax on, wax off, breathe in out. <laughs> I 
I should not be messing around while there's a, a sorcerer. Let's see what his actual... 17% chance to paralyze doesn't sound like a lot, but we also don't have any RF, so even just on his own, he's kind of dangerous. I'm also going to put up Confusing Touch preemptively. Nope, I was hoping he'd be here. We're going to go again. Oh, where's my touch? There we go. Good. Breaded rope. These are worth checking out, these magical ropes. And I'll just do another. It's the only one. Okay. Fire resistance, plus two. Um, four less int. Apparently we can still cast all our spells, so that's probably okay then. Uh, as I was just saying, uh, not having any RF makes the sorcerers a lot more dangerous. So, um, yeah, I'm okay being fire resistance. It means that we have to be, we have to be in our actual robe though, if we want the fire resistance. We can't change into a spider or an ice beast. That's too much stuff. Go the ice beast. I like, I like when you, you basically are just looking to reposition, and in doing so, you whirlwind stuff and kill it. It's very satisfying. I, I didn't even mean to attack, but now I killed this guy. Okay, so if we use blade hands, we get to keep our rope. So that's the best way to do this, probably. Okay, I went back because I was greedily hoping for a lunge when he stepped in, but instead he just summoned something. Feels bad. And then that something came at us instead of the sorcerer. Okay, I just screwed the lunge, let's just go in and hit him. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking about that ghost that we left in there. I mean, we can fight him later when we have to actually go find our swamp entrance. But now that we have blade hands, I'm certain that we'd have enough damage to fight him. It's perhaps arguable that before I go up or down unknown stairs, I should be changing into Ice Swarm or Blade Hands, but um, there might be fire enemies there, so it's probably not actually the case. Cleave. Cleave. Okay, for a second there, I thought the Orc Knight went invis, and I was terrified. Yeah, he's too scary. Random energy back on top of us. What a boss. Um, he's actually nearly dead. If we go... Oh, he keeps random energy. I was going to say, if we go one more lunge here, um, that combined with the poison will probably be enough to kill him. Let's blink. Alright, yeah, this will work. Now let's go... Ah, I meant to go poison again. Fail fish. Yeah, okay, we got him. Potion shop. Okay, do we have haste already? Two. Um, potions of magic. Uh, I don't know if Heavenly Storm even requires magic to use. Um, how about curing potions? We've got six. Alright, there's a lot of stuff that I might like to buy, but it's better that I hold the gold for now. We find out 
what else is available to buy an orc, if anything, because I also recall that we're saving for the Book of Earth, and then we make our decision. Oh no, I messed up the lunch. Okay, some boxes of base. One of acid's really nice, but a lot of our gold. Cleave attack um, unarmed is pretty cool. Even if it is only 80% damage. Oh yeah, I haven't tested yet. Can we cleave confusing touch? Surely not, right? Uh, I should find out though. And I wonder which which one it will get. Like say, oh, because probably once we confusing touch something, it will take the buff off. But let's say we have confusing touch on and we cleave three different enemies. I wonder if the first one is not confused, if it will then hit the second one. Or, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. And we get a bunch of enemies. Oh, I messed up the lunge again. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to this guy. The positioning is super important, and that's also that you're taking care not to accidentally wall jump. Reach level fourteen. Nice. Okay. Mm. I want to, I want to test the confusing touch, but I don't just want to die. My commitment to science is weak. It's because in, at heart, I'm actually a, a karate sensei. Karate. Damn it! It's <laughs> gonna say, well, we can just keep this one orc alive, and we'll find a second orc, and we'll test them. But the problem is, I want to just walk past him, but we're gonna kill him. Oh man! Okay, that's an orc warlord. Chance of paralyzing him: fifteen percent. How lucky am I feeling? Very lucky. Um, I don't know that we're gonna get to actually get him though. Because the other orcs are playing interference. Put out the blade hands. Just try and kill him as quickly as possible. Good. Alright. Um, now we need to get away. Where's our upster? Oh, we can just walk around the top up here. That should be okay. Taking it slowly because there are three orc priests in vision here. So that's a lot of smites per turn if they all choose to do it. All right, we're good. And we'll just loop back around to the upstairs. Oh yeah, okay, confusing touch, let's go. Okay, let's try. Okay, what happened? Oh, we still got touch up, so we haven't actually confused one. Uh, there's one that we missed and one that we attacked and did no damage to. And another that we missed. Okay, we confused one. Okay, this time we hit one and did no damage, we confused the other one. Okay, so I'm going to say we can't cleave Confusing Touch. <laughs> at least not in the actually confuse everyone at the same time way. Which is fair, but that would be pretty busted.
I'm just I'm trying to think about what I should do with statue form. It would be really useful um, to have it ASAP, but I don't know how much of an investment it is being a Minotaur. <laughs> I feel like it would be a large investment. I definitely don't want to be in ice form against the Sorcerer, and in fact, I probably just want to have Blade Hands up so that we're keeping our RF on our robe. Good. That was another glowing robe. We should test that too. This one? Yeah. Plus two magic resistance. I like that more than the fire resistance, I think. Um, I mean, we had a plus one robe of magic resistance, but in the back of my mind, that's losing an, a point of AC. But this way, we're not going to get paralyzed unless we roll a 2%. So I'm probably okay with that. Do you have another one? Another ruined robe. Plus one fire resistance. I really like that tile, but no thank you. <laughs> These guys are so... You feel less energetic. That's exactly what I needed on a super low energy <laughs> species that's playing uh, with spells. That's okay, it's not a big deal. We only have one other mutation potion. Uh, it's not worth potentially getting something really bad just to try to get rid of that one. Also, Rust Devil. Oh wow, it's going ham. I gotta stop trying to set up lunges on these guys who will summon stuff or um, just smite and that sort of thing. So many high priests. Yeah. That time he actually did step to me, the one time I anticipated that he wouldn't step, he did. Okay, weapon shop's useless. The glowing scarf, we should check out. Also the embroidered gloves. Oh, but I want to keep the gold. Hang on, well, we'll shopping list them. That's it. Okay, so we could, we could buy the Book of the Earth. Or we could buy this scarf and gloves combo. Um, we have no other way to train Earth magic, right? Unless we buy that. Ah, uh, the Book of Misfortune has Petrify in it. So we could, we could learn that. Oh, it's also Transmutation and Earth. What am I doing? Why haven't we learned Petrify? Um, not only does that give us a Hex that is in the two schools that we want to use, but we could have been training Earth already to prepare for statue form. Oh man, I'm a Goober. Um, in that case, um, but I also love the manual of earth magic, it's too much, we can't afford all this stuff. Hmm. Glowing scarf could be temperature, so it could give us RF and RC. I think in statue form you lose your Scarf though. Statue form. Melds gloves, boots, bindings, and body armor. So no, you get to keep your scarf. Alright, let's find out. Uh, it's spirit shield. We can't really use that. It makes us tankier, but being tanky is kind of what our Minotaur does anyway. 
and it just means that we're going to lose access to our spells as we uh, lose our HP. So that was a bit of a waste of gold. I regret it. Magic gloves or go get the Book of Earth right now. It's still going to be a while till statue form. Alright, done. Let's get the gloves. Plus two gloves of archery. Alright. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, means we can throw stones with some extra slaying. Speaking of which, we don't need stones anymore. Um, Alright, so we should learn... We should learn Petrify. 100%. Okay, we should turn off, not turn it off, but stop focusing on um, combat, we'll just train it. Uh, let's focus earth magic, and probably we'll train like this for a while. Uh, probably we should train some dodging too, I don't know. These decisions, but for now, I'm going to stop there. Uh, I, I'll sleep on these decisions, I don't know, think about it. Um, and in the next one, we'll be finishing off the dungeon, and then I'm assuming we have Swamp. Uh, if that assumption is correct, then probably we'll go to Swamp. See you then.